Yo, what's good, everybody? It's Last Messiah. For all y'all watching on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, or any platform, if y'all want to stay updated on the latest video, y'all want to hit that subscribe button or that follow button. You know, however it rock. You know what I'm saying? If y'all don't fuck with me, just disregard whatever going on, man, and going on about your business. You know what I'm saying? Because we need no negative energy over here, man. But with that being said, man, Let's get to the point of the video. Now, for, for everybody who who don't know, you know what I'm saying, I, I really give detailed biblical breakdowns, not from a biased perspective or not from a hateful or disrespectful pr perspective, but mainly things turn disrespectful because people don't like to listen to the truth and facts. Now, in this video, this will be specifically about there is no devil or evil entity opposing God in the Hebrew Bible. Now, when I say Hebrew Bible, I mean the Old Testament Hebrew Bible, not the Greek New Testament, the Hebrew Old Testament. Now, the reason I need y'all to understand why the distinction in that is important is because Christianity has this thing where they try to use the Old Testament to validate prophecies or validate Jesus, but anytime you, you put pressure on, on the New Testament, you know what I'm saying, from the Old Testament in any other context, they are quick to say, oh, the Old Testament is obsolete. It's a new covenant, a new law, or whatever, so they can disregard what the Old Testament says, but they have no problem trying to go back to it to validate Jesus. So the reason why I make most of my claims uh, or my, my foundational argument from the Hebrew Bible is because since Christianity loves to use it so much, if the Hebrew Bible disagrees with their philosophy or their concepts, that means that their concepts are, are, are basically obsolete. They're wrong, right? So the whole Christian narrative or argument is that there is a devil or Lucifer and the devil is Satan, Right? But now, in the Hebrew book, the first time we've ever heard of this Lucifer character was in the in the book of Isaiah, chapter 14. Now, if anybody is reading that entire chapter in proper context, you will understand that it's a parable. And that parable is in dense, poetic, figurative, figurative language about a human being. Yes. The entire chapter, Lucifer is referring to a man. And when I post in this video these clips, I'm going to show you specifically from the Hebrew perspective. I'm going to the to the Hebrew translation and show you exactly what it means. I mean, in the King James, it tell you this too, but I feel like a lot of y'all uh, have a problem reading the King's language or something like that. So I'm a, I'm gonna go back to to the Septuagint version. And, and let you understand, even though that's Greek too, but they have a side by side with the Hebrew uh, interpretation of it. So, yeah. Um, with that being said, Lucifer in the book is not an evil deity. There is no Lucifer as an evil deity. And this is where it gets real. Now, Lucifer, it says, is the morning star. If you read Isaiah 14 all the way down, when you get to the part the where it starts talking about Lucifer, you will see that it's speaking in figurative context about a human ruler who uh, was basically um, a prideful person. And his pride and arrogance made him feel like he was a god on earth. So the whole parable is about a man's pride being so high that when God brings him down, you know, everybody will, will get this lesson about not elevating or, or boasting too high because when your downfall comes, you know, it, it'll be so detrimental because you had your pride exceeding so high. You wasn't humbled at all. So... They took that and went to the book of Ezekiel, Ezekiel chapter 28, and took another parable 
Bird was talking about another king who was prideful and wanted to be a god on earth. And in this parable, oh, this guy was in the garden. He was he was one of the greatest cherubims and he was decorated with gold and silver. And he rebelled against the Lord saying that, oh, I will make my throne in the heavens. This is a man that they are speaking about in his arrogance. Has nothing to do with a literal devil at all. A devil or an evil entity or evil spirit that opposes God is nowhere in the Hebrew Bible, family. It can't be found. It's not in there. So, when I make these videos trying to get y'all to understand that Christianity and Judaism or Hebrewism is not the same religion and it doesn't have the same concepts, I'm honestly being genuine and real with y'all. I'm telling you that there is no devil or no hell in the Old Testament. At all, period. Now they might speak about a hell in a figurative sense or or the pit or the grave, or they might talk about you being in another world, but they not saying that it's no abode where no devil is down there torturing you or none of that. None of these philosophies are in the Hebrew book, man. And the old, the New Testament comes along and they give you a devil with fire and brimstone because they have took on Greek philosophy. The Greek perspective of their, of their religion comes directly from Hellenism. You understand what I'm saying? Like dealing with Hellenism, you have an evil entity opposing a, 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 a most high God because you have Hades. And Hades was sent to the netherworld or the underworld realm to rule over souls. And this is where the philosophy of Satan comes from. That's why in the New Testament you have all of this opinionated writings from these scribes and supposedly apostles. But none of this shit is going and coinciding with the Hebrew text. If you read it, it says Lucifer is a man. The morning star is a person. And I'm sorry that I have to go on this long a video to keep explaining the same thing over and over and over. But I'm trying to drill this point in. The serpent in the Garden of Eden was not a devil. It was not Lucifer or it wasn't Satan. They got this story from an old Canaanite text. And it was reformulated into the Hebrew Bible and given as a cultural moral story about faith. The story of Job is Babylonian. Get what I'm saying? So none of these uh, ideas about an evil force or entity opposing God is in that book. And if it is, like I say, I still got that challenge, man. I give a bitch a thousand dollars, five hundred dollars. If y'all can show me what a real satanic being, a devil that is in the Old Testament or the Hebrew book, you would get that, man. But yeah, man, there's no devil in the Old Testament. There was no Lucifer or God opposition, man, in the Hebrew Bible. And I stand on that, 100.